Eh, a ver. Um, okay, um, my name is Ludi. I'm going to show you how you can improve your diet and save money with Python. And first of all, thank the organization to give me the opportunity to give this speak. And something about me and something about the speak. Um, first of all, the speak was given the first time in the EuroPython in Bilbao this year um, with my colleague who's sitting there. But this time I'm going to present it alone. And well, something about me, I'm originally a chemical engineer, so I'm not a programmer. If you find something in my code, feel free to send me a pull request. Um, I will begin on Monday my uh, Master in Robotics and Automatization. I'm Programming Science 2040. Oh, um, yeah. Um, I speak in, in Python, in the EuroPython. Um, I'm an active member of Kacheme. And, well, I think that's all about me. What you need to know about this talk. Um, we are chemical engineers, and I don't know if you have been this morning, there was another speak of members of Kacheme. We love reactors and installation columns. But if you're not a chemical engineer, you probably don't understand a lot for them. So I was thinking how I can show you what I do with my simulation, but that interests you. And well, every one of us eats. So I'm going to show you how you can improve your diet. And well, that's very simplified the problem. We have a food, but we only have um, some small amount of money. But actually, we are doing a diet and we don't want to get fat, so what we should eat in a fast food restaurant? Which I think it's an interesting question for everyone. Okay, so uh, let's start with some theory about it, because if I'm not going to tell you you're not going to understand. First of all, where came the diet problem? The diet problem was in the Second World War II. They were thinking like the soldiers need to eat the most amount of nutrients, but we'd only want to spend the minimum of money. So that's where it came the first time the diet problem. And I get the problem and get it to now, or situation now. So we go to a fast food restaurant and we want to eat hamburger, fries, or menu, but we only have five euros. And we have a constraint, will be, I don't know, we only want 2,000 calories, or something like that. So some concepts you need to know before I show you what I've done with uh, Payomo, which is what we're going to use. Um, we have to define what is a linear function and a nonlinear function. It's, I'm only going to show you a little bit of theory. Well, that's linear function, that's not linear function. Okay, that's great. And well, in 3D, it looks pretty awesome, so I've put it in. And what is the smooth and a non smooth function? Smooth, it means I can derivate it in the whole function. In this one, I can't derivate it because I have this point, and you can't do a derivative there. So in 3D, you can see it. Okay, next step, noisy functions and exact functions. Um, when we use derivative, we get functions, we get a net of noises. So we get the blue one, but with the solver, we want the green one. So we want that our solution will be smooth and ideal. And that's what we're going to do with, our, with the problem. Next step, local and global minimum. Well, in the, um, in the speaks before, they have shown you global minimum local and global minimum. Okay, so, well, um, I have, was searching for, for different examples to show you this, but I think it's the easiest, it's a little bit strange, but um, if you are on a mountain and you can't see what's around you, and you don't know if you're going down or uphill, you are sitting there, and what you're going to do? Well, you're going to do a step and look which pen, um, which side you're going, of you're going, over or under the hill. So, as you can see, in the first picture, it looked like we were on an optimum. But, well, we were here, but we can't see the rest of us. But now we can see here is a global maximum, and we have another minimum. And that's what we're going to do with, uh, 
with our solvers. They are going to try every possibility to find the optimum solution what we want for our function optimum. Then we have convex function and non-convex function. This is, I think, the most important fact about simulation. Well, the easiest to explain is the easiest. We draw point A and point B and draw a line. If we are in a function, it will be convex, but we cut the line here, so that means it's not convex function in 3D. And, well, our constraint. What means the constraint? That of space, we have a global, and we have different constraints. We have for equality, it means we want them to find the optimum on this straight line. You see, that's a minimum, a global minimum, and that's the optimum he got. You see, it's far away from the best one. Then we have an inequality constraint, which means in this case, you have this. And, well, a global minimum is the same like your optimum, but you have the other condition, which means here is to search it in this part of a space, and he's not going to find the optimum we are searching for. And, well, last but not least, we can do a square like this, and you have to find us optimum inside here. It's a lot of theory, but if I don't explain it, you will not understand what I'm going to do next with the die problem. So this is going to use, look like when we put all together, we have a constraint with the blue lines, we have a point A and B, so it's doing cut, that's a convex region, that's not convex region, everything is pretty obvious. And now, so this is look like the important questions we're going to set for a problem, for simulation problem. We have our objective function with its constraints, and then we have to ask ourselves, is it linear or is it not? If it's linear, we're going to go here. It means if it's um, a variable to choose or not. So we get, if it's not, it's a linear problem, and we can solve it with the simplex. In this case, we are going to use linear programs. Then, if it's yet, we have mixed discrete programs. With, we are going to use um, an algorithm called branch and bound. If it's not linear, we have non-linear programming. Will, will be this solver the best. And then we have a mixed in, integral non-linear program. With this, the outer approximation, which is the best solver you're going to use. Looking on the mathematical part of it, a normal problem will look like this. This will be an, abs an abstract model. It means we can import C and A from the outside. And well, this is not in concrete model. It means I have set in these values before, so he's going to use what I have given him before. And well, that's how it looks like when you put all together. And I think that's everything you need to know about theory. Now I'm going to show you the die problem. Ah! Okay, sorry. First, um, I used for this, I used Payomo. And you have to know for simulation, you can use different um, solvers. So you have to choose first. It's a linear program. It's mixed integer and on. Uh, in this case, we are going to use the solver the GLPK because it's the best for the linear programming and the diet problem. It's actually a linear problem. And whoa, okay. Um, we have different language to choose. We can use GAMS, Ample, Ames, or Payomo. Um, I used in my bachelor. I used GAMS, but I. Does what was happy with it, so I was searching for a, a different option to solve my problems, to solve my class problems, and well, I find Payama and I'm very happy with it, so I've done it in that, but you can do it in every other, if you like it more. So installing it, uh, first of all, I don't think he's here, but um, we have to thank Juan Lucano, because he has done the installation, so it's now it's very easy to do it. You only have to type this in, so with this you get Payama, then we get a solver, and well, I've put this both in, so if anyone wants to play with them, you can do it by yourself. And now we're going to program. Okay, so 
Now this in, is a problem, I told you before. I would think like, um, okay, so diet. All variable will be hamburgers, fries, etc. All function option will be the cost. And we have, will be a, a constraint will be the nutrients and amount we should eat in a day. So, I don't know if someone used this, but there are guidelines to daily amount you should eat a day on a meal. And I found this. And well, the problem is based on these values. Um, normally, that's the most amount you should eat a day, but I don't know if that's what you should eat. Well, okay, so first, we import Payomo. Uh, normally, we shouldn't import everything, but it's like convention and you import everything in Payomo. Then I get your data. I found it from, in the internet, it was all the data for McDonald's menus and, well, uh, like you see here, you have the menus and the cost and, well, you can't see it, but they are more with every data of calories, sugar, um, salt in or menus, which we are going to use as a constraint. So solving it is an abstract model because we are going to get it from the outside. Then we have our sets, will be the products and the nutrients, or different parameters where we have to optimize. It means the cost, we want that it's the minimum cost, and we want that our nutrients will have between a maximum and a minimum. So when in our decision variables will be the number of servings for each food we get. So, okay, here we defined the rule that the cost will be the minimum, I don't know where it is, ah, here, minimize the cost. And if you want to maximize it, you only have to change it. The, I don't find it. Well, it's there. Okay, so a constraint will be the important part of this. It means I have settled as minimum one third of the guidelines you should eat a day and as a maximum what you should eat the whole day but in one meal. And I will show you what you get. It means you see here that's a solution Payama gives you. Number of solutions, zero. Um, number of meals you get, infeasible. It means um, you can't eat anything of McDonald's between these parameters. Okay, so now I have tested something else. I have only settled minimum values for calories, fat, carbohydrates, fiber and sugar and proteins, which I thought was the most important. And well, okay, now we have a solution for $727. Okay, looks good. But now I'm going to show you what you should eat. Well, this is the solution. It's not here. Here he's, he's going to show you what you should eat. But I have beautiful pictures for you to see it. A fat-free cold milk and chocolate drink. Um, oatmeal with, I don't know what that is. And a Sprite. That's everything you should eat between these parameters. So. If you are going to do diet and go to McDonald's, that will be your menu to eat. But now I was thinking, hmm, it will be great. Okay, I'm a student, I don't have a lot of money, so we are trying the opposite problem. It means I have $10, but I want to eat the most of calories I can get. So, well, that's what <laughs> I'm going to try. I import Payomo. And I get my data, but in this time, in this case, I don't have protein something, I only have calories, but I want the most amount of them, and the cost. So solving the problem, it will be, of course, an abstract model. We have a set, will be the same. Our parameters, which in this, we are going to have a maximum minimum, it will be the cost, and we are going to optimize or calories, which in this case would be the maximum of it. We have a constraint with the maximum minimum cost and the solution. Okay, so you can eat 3,550 calories in one meal in McDonald's for 10 euros, well, $10. Uh, well, you should, if you remember from the guidelines, you should eat 2,500 if you are a male, so, well, 
in one meal you have for two days. And the results you get are this. <laughs> one Buffalo Ranch McChicken, six sausage biscuits, and two strawberry and cream pies you should eat. If you can eat all that, respect, because I don't think I, c I can do that. And now, I'm sorry for that, but I'm a chemical engineer, so I'm showing you what I do with this normally. <laughs> and of course, there will be a lot of reactors and distillation columns. I think um, my colleague has shown you this picture before. Um, what do a chemical engineer? Um, very simplified. We have, from this, we want to get beer, so we use a reactor, and we have two types of reactors. We can do it in a batch reactor, which means we will stop between the, the different um, operation times, and we have an in continuous, so it will be working for like a year. And then we have the opposite, it means we want to get from the beer, we want to get more alcohol, so we get are trying to get whiskey, and that we are going to do it with distillation. So we have this, which is in a discontinuous batch reactor, and this. If maybe you have seen it. Um, they are on every place. You love them, and they continue. They're very big and lovely. Well, that's a problem we use normally. We have A, but we want to get the most amount of B, and from C, we can get B, actually. So, what we are going to try here is to find the best way to get the most amount of B. So, with Payum, you can solve this problem. And, well, okay, you have a lot of equations, which I didn't have told before. Um, we have here another concept, is in disjunctors, mean logical um, operators, it means. If it's possible, get me this. If it's not, it's not working, it don't exist. So that's what we're going to optimize. That's a function. And our result will be this. So, like you can see, you can optimize it from your food to a whole chemical engineering process with using a simulation of it. And uh, well, that's all I have to say about this. Si tenéis preguntas, podéis hacérmela. Dime. Están en GitHub. Que. Espérate. Es fácil de recordar. Ahí lo tenéis. Dieta, vayamos. De hecho, también está en YouTube esto grabado de la EuroPython, si alguien lo quiere ver otra vez. Gracias. De nada. ¿Alguna pregunta más? Con respecto al modelo de, de dietas y de calorías, eh, ¿habéis probado hacer diferentes combinaciones de elementos que den el mismo resultado? ¿O lo tenéis optimizado para dar los alimentos que, que dan el número de calorías? A ver, o sea, estuve probando bastantes problemas y demás y situaciones y a ver eh, a ver si consigo a ver la verdad es que o sea es un poco difícil no porque tú tienes que tener un montón de cosas en cuenta para, para optimizar la dieta y demás y estuve buscando y por ejemplo eh, digamos que si quieres mantenerle en lo más real que puedes por ejemplo estos solves al fin y al cabo son él intenta hacer lo mejor que puede pero al fin y al cabo, luego que sea del todo cierto lo que él te saca, ya... Pero vamos, que lo puedes optimizar cuando tú quieras y puedes... A ver, yo esto, de hecho, lo he optimizado para esta, para la Paikones, desde Bilbao, y se ha quedado bastante mejor uh -huh. que antes. Y vamos, pero... No sé si te he contestado tu pregunta. ¿Alguna pregunta más? Pues ya está.